Hello and welcome to Quiz Class. My name is Ellis and I'll be your host for today's general knowledge quiz of 50 questions. Do the best you can in today's quiz and at the end of the video you can let us know in the comments what award you received based on how many points you scored. So let us know your ranking at the end of this video. Today's lineup we have questions on science and technology, geography, arts and literature and entertainment. So, without further ado, let's get started on our first round of questions, which are all about science and technology. Question one. What moving part of a car is marked in the image below? Gearbox, pedal or piston? Let's take a look at that image, that red circle. And let us know your answer, which is piston. Well done if you got the first question right. Question two, how much power did the Ford Model T, the first mass produced vehicle, have? One horsepower, five horsepower, or 20 horsepower? The answer is 20 horsepower. Three, what is depicted at a microscopic level in the image below? Saliva, amoeba, or chloroplast? The answer is amoeba. Question four, how many DNA chromosomes are there in the human genome? 23, 478, or about 1,241,000? The answer is 23. Question five, how many bacterial cells are there in the average human body compared to human cells? 10 times more bacterial cells, 10 times more human cells, or slightly more bacterial cells? The answer is 10 times more bacterial cells. Six, how many times does the average person walk around the world in their lifetime? Two times, five times, or 10 times? Obviously, it would depend person to person, but the average person will walk around the world five times in their lifetime. Question seven. What animal is in the Firefox logo? Is it a fennec fox? Is it a red panda? Or is it a coyote? It is a red panda. Question eight. What is wrong with the word Google, which actually refers to a mathematical term? It is supposed to be spelt Google. It is a rude word in Latin, or it means zero results. Well, the word Google is supposed to be spelt G-O-O-G-O-L, Google. Nine, what significance does the website info.cern.ch hold? The first web page still online today. It was a project on nuclear advancement, or the most advanced website since 1991. The answer is the first web page, still online today. 10. How much did the first computer weigh? 300 kilograms, 3,000 kilograms, or 30,000 kilograms? The first computer weighed a whopping 30,000 kilograms. Next, we're moving on to some questions on geography. Question 11. Which place has the highest population among these? Canada, California, or Czechia? The answer is California. Question 12. Where is an island within a lake on an island within a lake on an island located? Philippines, Indonesia, or Malaysia? Let me repeat that. Where is an island within a lake, on an island within a lake, on an island located? The answer is Philippines. Well done if you got that one right. Question 13, which is bigger, Mount Everest or the Mariana Trench? Mount Everest, Mariana Trench, or they are about the same? Question 14. 
Well, the Mariana Trench is in fact bigger. That is the answer. 14. How many time zones does Russia span? 5, 8 or 11? We're on question 14. I hope you're keeping up so far. The answer to question 14 is 11. And here comes 15. Which picture represents the Buckingham Palace? A, B or C? Two of them are imposters. One is actually Buckingham Palace. Can you decipher which one it is? The answer is A. Question 16. Which continent covers four hemispheres? Asia, Africa or Europe? Very, very greedy of them. Africa covers four hemispheres. Question 17 now. What landmark is pictured below? Arc de Triomphe, the Brandenburg Gate or La Sagrada Familia? The answer is Arc de Triomphe. Question 18. Where is the Sagrada Familia located? Peru, Brazil or Spain? The answer is Spain. Question 19 now. Located in Granada, Spain, what is the name of this magnificent castle, fortress, and garden complex? The Alhambra, the Acropolis, or the Angkor? The answer is the Alhambra. Question 20. Where is the Leaning Tower of Pisa located? Spain, Italy, or France? The answer to question 20 is Italy. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is in Italy. We're now going to move on to some questions on arts and literature. Question 21, the picture below goes by what name? The Last Supper, Gospel of John or the Baptism of Christ? The answer is The Last Supper. Question 22. Who painted this iconic work of art? Sandro Botticelli, Vincent van Gogh, or Leonardo da Vinci? The answer is Vincent van Gogh. Question 23. Which of these paintings is known as the birth of Venus? A, B, or C? Have a little look at your screen and see which of those you think is called the birth of Venus. The answer is C. Well done if you got that one right. Here comes question 24. What is the name of Pablo Picasso's giant painting finished in June 1937? Gitano, Sofia or Guernica? The answer is Guernica. Question 25. Who created the iconic painting, The Night Watch? Captain Franz Banink Konk, Rembrandt, or Vincent van Gogh? The answer is Rembrandt. We are halfway through this quiz. Here comes question 26. What is the name of the iconic 1897 painting by Henri Rousseau that features a lion and a gypsy at twilight? Fantastic Delineation, Twilight and Lion, or The Sleeping Gypsy? The answer is The Sleeping Gypsy. Question 27. Who authored The Book Thief? Marcus Zusak, George Orwell, or Jane Austen? The answer to question 27, Marcus Zusak. 28. Which of these infinitely famous books was authored by F. Scott Fitzgerald? The Great Gatsby, The BFG, or Animal Farm? The 
The answer is The Great Gatsby. 29. What is the name of the multi-generational saga by Gabriel Garcia Marquez that focuses on the Buendia family? A Little Life, 100 Years of Solitude, or Bad Blood? The answer is 100 Years of Solitude. 30. Who wrote the 1999 book All About Love? Bell Hooks, Audre Lorde, or Paolo Freire? The answer is Bell Hooks. 31 is coming, but it's about entertainment. And that's what we're moving on to next, our next topic. The question is, how many stars does Frank Sinatra have on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? None, one, or three? Frank Sinatra, selfishly, greedily, has three stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Question 32, how was the Hollywood sign lit in the 1920s? Candles stacked on shelves behind the letters, thousands of light bulbs, or neon lights surrounding the letters? The answer is thousands of light bulbs. Question 33, which movie recorded a $167 million loss on paper? Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix, Titanic, or The Avengers? The answer is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. 34. Why did Hollywood emerge as the centre of filmmaking? Because of its beautiful scenery? Because of its proximity to New York? Or to escape patent lawsuits by Thomas Edison's company? The answer to escape patent lawsuits by Thomas Edison's company. 35. Hal Roach, a legendary Hollywood producer, would hire a wildy to help with ideas when they had writer's block. Who were these wildies? Eccentric writers like Stephen King, insane or drunk people, or adrenaline junkies and stunt addicts? The answer is insane or drunk people. 36. Which celebrity was allergic to chocolate as a child? Dolly Parton, Johnny Depp, or Britney Spears? The answer is Johnny Depp. Question 37. What is Chuck Norris's first name? Carlos, Harry, or Justin? Now, I know what you're thinking. Isn't it Chuck? No. What is Chuck Norris's actual first name? The answer is Carlos. Well done if you got that one right. Here's question 38. Who started using black shoe polish to darken their hair? Elvis Presley, Matthew Perry, or Denzel Washington? The answer is Elvis Presley. Question 39. How many siblings does Dennis Rodman have on his dad's side? 2, 8, or 28? Dennis Rodman has 28 siblings on his dad's side. 40. Who claims to have slept with a ghost? Kesha, Lucy Liu, or Eva Mendez? The answer is Kesha. We are now entering our mystery round of questions. Do the best you can for these final 10. 41. The Straits of Magellan are located where? Between Japan and Taiwan, South Korea and Japan, or between Chile and Tierra del Fuego? The answer, between Chile and Tierra del Fuego. Question 42. What happened to Desdemona in Giuseppe Verdi's Othello? She jumped to her death, her husband strangled her to death, or she died of consumption. Apologies on any mispronunciation there, but the answer is her husband strangled her to death. 43. 
Which country has the longest uninterrupted straight railway line? North Korea, Russia or Australia? The answer is Australia. 44. What is meant by the phrase too much money chasing too little goods? Inflation, recession or stagnation? The answer is inflation. Question 45. Which nations acknowledged the Plaza Accord in November 1985 in the United States? The US and the UK, the US, Canada and Japan, or the G5? The answer to question 45 is the G5. 46. Which 1946 film about two naive lads in Rome who steal a horse was directed by Vittorio De Sica? Some Like It Hot, The Bicycle Thief, or Shoeshine? The answer is Shoeshine. Question 47. Which expression does one use to refer to a sweater? Pushover, pullover, or slide over? The answer to question 47 is pullover. Question 48. Where is the typical home of the zebra mantis shrimp? Tunnels on sandy sea floors in shallow water, in the trees of northern Africa, or Mariana Trench in the Challenger Deep? That second answer is in the trees of northern Africa. But the correct answer is tunnels on sandy sea floors in shallow water. Question 49. Which of these flags represents Papua New Guinea? You've got A, B and C labelled there. Can you identify which one is Papua New Guinea? The answer is A. And question 50. What American state is shown in the image below? Michigan, New York or Wisconsin? The answer is Michigan. And here's a bonus question to round up. Who was the Marion Crane character in Psycho? And you can let us know the answer to that question in the comments below. Remember to tot up your scores and work out which quiz class reward you receive and write that down in the comments too. Thanks a lot for playing this quiz today. Don't forget to subscribe to Quiz Class and hit that bell icon to be notified on all of our upcoming videos. In the meantime though, there are quizzes already uploaded that you can try right now, so get involved. My name's Ellis and I've been your host today. Thanks again for joining us at Quiz Class. We'll see you next time.